It was over there, and uh, one of the uh, the white Muslims uh, who was trying everything he, he could think of to get me in. Oh right. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he hasn't met you then, has he? Uh, well, he should have done. But <laughs> did he say anything that might have been remotely persuasive? No. He no. said quite a few things that made me think, well, I knew he was daft, but I didn't know he was that daft. Right. So, right. <laughs> no, no, I'm not trembling on the edge. Oh dear, oh dear. So, uh, yeah, that was quite interesting. Yeah, I mean, in all your time coming round here, have you not had anything that made you think, hmm, that's an interesting point these Muslim guys are making? Oh, many, many, but um, to put them together yeah. uh, doesn't work. I mean, it's little fiddly things. Like, they will say that the, uh, somewhere, I don't know where, but they say that it's half of the people go to heaven and half the people go to hell. Oh, right. So I think, well, now, hang on, uh, that's much more reasonable than Jesus. It's still not very good, but at least you're only having half the people over. He says, a lot of people over there are going to hell, not many people over here go to heaven. Yes, I do see the, uh, I do see the um, equity involved. Yeah, yeah, actually. yeah, sure. Yes, I mean, at least, you know, you come into this world, I think, flip of a coin, you've got a reasonable chance of one, okay, 50% chance of going into the fire forever, but at least it's a fighting chance almost on the roulette table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas with Jesus saying, well, you know, um, the road is narrow and so on, the, and the way is narrow to get into heaven, it's... You know, it could be disillusioning for those who like to play the play the horses and well, it, it could be 